while you can find hundreds of reasons not to be a doctor in India, there are very few but very solid reasons to be a doctor in India. And let's focus on the positives today. I'm Dr. Chizil Bhatia. I am a young plastic and reconstructive surgeon based in Chandigarh, and I am quite happy to be a doctor in India. Despite all the struggles in the last 15 years, despite being at the heart of everything wrong in healthcare in India, I say that. Why? Let's find out. Population. We are 1.4 billion people. India is not a developed country and we have so many people. We have a burden of diseases like no other country. If you are a doctor in India, you will never run out of patients. There are patients waiting to find good doctors, waiting to find the right information. Quacks have taken over healthcare because people are running around to find good doctors. So if quacks can make their way, good doctors will always find a way. So to cater this huge population, we need good doctors. We need a lot and lot of doctors. Doctors in India get assaulted by the patient relatives, but the moment you make a patient better, they thank you from the bottom of their heart. But yes, you need to be a little talented and undergo classes in managing angry people. And also you must know the art of running away at the right time to save your own life. Otherwise, most of the people are loving and thankful and they treat you next to God. So be very good at communicating with the patient and the relatives and be a little trained in self-defense and you will have no problem. You will have lots and lots of love from the patient as well as the relatives. And as I said, once you make a patient better, they thank you like you are next to God. I'm a strong believer that we should treat the patient as a whole and not just the disease. And to do that, we must have an emotional as well as a cultural connect with the patient so that we understand them better and understand what they're going through. It helps building a trust with the patient and the whole process becomes a little easier. You as a doctor feel more comfortable to explain the risks involved and the prognosis if you have that connect, you are not worried that what if he misunderstands and goes to some other doctor and you lose your patient. Once you have that trust, you feel safe and it improves your treatment overall. And to build that trust, you must know the community from where the patient is coming to you. That is why it is important to know the patient as a whole really helps the process. Now my family is in Hyderabad. If I move to Hyderabad and start my practice there, I do not know how the patient has grown up, what the cultural background was, what was his struggles throughout his life and all those things. A lot of things matter. So I cannot start practicing in Hyderabad now. I need to start work in this area where I have grown up myself because I know the people here. I know the problems they face. I know how the healthcare sector has developed in the past 20 to 30 years in this region and I know the problems and I can work on them. That is why it is important to know your community well. And that is why you need to be a doctor in India. So many of my friends have left the country. The country trained them to become brilliant doctors, but they left because they did not see a future here. They wanted a better life, a better future, a better career, better facilities. It's the country's loss. We need quality doctors to stay back and improve the healthcare in India. If you have any sense of nationality and if you are an achiever in this country, stay back and work here. Let's find a way to make things work and do our best to improve things around us. Travel the world for education and training, but come back home where you are needed. I am trying my best. How, when and where may change with time, but I am doing my best in my individual ability to provide healthcare services in my country and helping the growth of healthcare in whatever small way I can. As I said, we are a huge population. There will never be shortage of jobs for doctors in India. Unless, of course, you are an unreserved candidate, then you may find it difficult to get into the government sector and find a permanent job and find it difficult to settle. But you will find a job in the private sector for sure. And it is easier if you move to a smaller town. There are a lot of opportunities and also the Indian healthcare sector is growing exponentially. New government hospitals are coming up, new corporate hospitals are rising rapidly. I am myself working in a rapidly rising corporate hospital. I am contributing my part to it in a small way. I have been in the thick of things all my life. I have seen the worst. I have seen the good. I won't say I've seen the best yet but I am in the middle of a growing corporate sector right now and I am doing my part and contributing whatever small I can. It's not easy. Trust me, I'm working really, really hard for it. But yes, there is scope. And with the rising healthcare sector, I believe there will always be scope for doctors in India. So yes, if you are desperate to become a good doctor, if you are desperate to work hard to make it work in your country, if you have the determination to find a solution despite all the problems around you, you will be happy 
to be a doctor in India. And as one of the topmost plastic surgeons in our country, Dr. Raja Sabhapati once said to me, don't blame the system. Ask yourself, what can you do about it? And once you cross the hurdles of NEAT, NEAT PG, NEAT super speciality, whatever stage you wish to stop at, that is all you need to have in your mind. What can you do about it? That's what I have in my mind. I don't know what the future holds for me, but right now I'm trying really hard and I'm trying my best. Because for Indian healthcare to become better in a way we imagine, it's us the younger lot of doctors who need to take charge and make things work and change things the way we want them to be. That's the thought I want to leave this video with. My name is Chisel. You are watching The Tech Doctor. Namaste.